Hey guys, welcome back. This is Joe's an architect, and this by far is the coolest armor ever. So I hope to see you guys soon. So today we have lots to do back here in FTB Ultimate. Man. Um, so getting into Tech Reborn, of course, we we have a little bit of bees stuff going on. I have a, a little bit of bees going on in the background. Uh, as you can see, they've been actually creating a few flowers. I forgot to put down poppies as well, so uh, they're not actually breeding, they're only breeding the one specific flower. That is one of the things that bees can do. Um, if you want to gather one particular flower, just put only that particular flower down and it'll only spread that flower around, including poppies. Like if, if you mix these two, I think we will get orange flowers mixed in with that, and then when those orange flowers populate, we'll get more flowers mixed in with that. And yeah, if you just place down random vanilla flowers, you'll get a whole bunch of them. So it's a good way to collect those kind of dyes. But anyways, back to what I was talking about with um, Tech Reborn. So right here is our Tech Reborn Blast Furnace. Now, this thing only produces a little bit of heat. I need to produce some tungsten because my plan for today is to get into modular power suits. I think that is going to be a great thing to jump towards and eventually get to. So modular power suits it is. Let's take a look at... Well, I guess we were already at Tech Reborn. But we need to upgrade to the reinforced machine casing. And we really don't need too much to do this. I mean, each reinforced casing we place down adds to that uh, that heating uh, amount that we have. So I have some steel plating that I was working on. I also have a bunch of pulverized coal that we are going to need to work on today. I mean, a lot. Um, and this pulverized coal... I guess I can go ahead and do it in here, right? I can make all of this stuff. Make all this raw carbon fiber plating here. And then, of course, that gets compressed, right? Into that ball. And then we're going to take this. And this, of course, has to go through the compressor. And that's over here. So, yeah, we have more of those to be worked on. Also, the packed update. And you know what that means? <laughs> That means our sound needs to be dropped back down again. Oof. Too much. Too much on the uh, IC2 stuff. Man. Anyways, there's the carbon plating. Um, we're going to need a bunch of that. And that should at least get one of these out of here. There we go. And I'll take that. Perfect. And that should allow us to make a bit more of that advanced goodness. All right. So back to making this reinforce. So we need one of these casings. I think we have enough right now to make some of this as well. I need two of those to make at least four of these. We're gonna see where four gets us right now. So what we need to do, I'm gonna break each corner of this around the middle band here. Oh, I think uh, we can also break this a little bit easier if we have the hammer, the crescent hammer. Nice, it is getting dark, unfortunately. Yes, oh, that works so much better. And we're gonna break off each corner Right, and this will break the multi-block, so we should not have anything complete there. But if I place this in, that should complete that multi-block. Yes, and as you see, it brought the heat up just a little bit. Not enough, though. Not enough. We still need a bit more. Um, so, we're going to need more of these, which means we're going to need more advanced machine casings. Yeah, I am working towards them. Let's go ahead and get that done. There's three. So that'll give us enough to get a few more of these. I don't know how much. I mean, three is definitely going to work, right? And I hope I have enough steel. I am definitely going to need more advanced circuits. So one, two, three, four, and then five, six of them, right? Six of them. That should work. And that will net us hopefully enough to change most of this multi-block here so there's 12 and yeah it's getting a little dark hopefully somebody will end up sleeping but i'm going to at least just change these corner pieces for right now because i don't want to break the middle because of course you, you know the middle has lava there so the more we can avoid that lava the better and getting this multi-block done is going to make things a lot nicer all right so how is this looking? We still got another piece over here. All right, hopefully we have enough to complete this. If not, we'll just fill it back in. 
course, right here. That leaves us four for these corners. Ooh, nice. I think we have enough. Oh, we are just barely, barely making it. I think one more and we'll have this thing down. So the heat is up to where we need it to go and it is starting to process that tungsten. And uh, what I'm gonna make is that advanced circuit to be able to complete this bad boy. So we're gonna need another advanced machine casing, which I do believe, uh, I don't know why there's two, oh, I guess they're backwards. Okay, so you can have them any way you want, I guess. But yeah, we need to get this machine casing done so that way we can get this uh, powered armor tinker tangle table because I want to make at least the base suit today and then uh, incorporate some of the other aspects to the suit later on which some of you can get kind of expensive and we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Let's go and make another advanced circuit. And I know some people in the comments have been mentioning you know the, the little bit of lag that you may see here. Um, we've been slowly but surely trying to figure out exactly what the issues is and I think we we might have kind of figured it out um, but we're still trying to, to, you know, work out the kinks. But, you know, it kind of happens when you have a multiplayer server as large as we have one. Um, so, yeah, just keep that in mind. If you do notice a little bit of lag, I am sorry. I do love to play with the community. And that's why I do play on these servers. So, or at least play on my subservers. I know a lot of a lot of creators don't exactly play on the subservers with their friends. And I, I completely understand that because of lag and stuff. There are mod packs where I don't play on the servers. So... Um, this was one that was definitely going to be community driven because of the rail systems and stuff like that that you can do. But I wanted to talk about that um, and just kind of let you guys know. So let's go ahead and uh, hop in here and we'll take a look. Um, let's see. We're going to make this modular power suit. So the modular table, the Tinker's table, allows you to put your suit parts in and then customize your suit parts, right? So we need to make the suit parts first. And that's going to require some circuits, some silver ingots. To make the helmet like this stuff should be pretty easy to make. And uh, it says energy zero, and I'm, I don't know if it's RF power that it uses or what kind of power it uses, but we'll figure that out. Also, the electric jetpack, I just noticed this thing actually doesn't, isn't that hard to make. We could probably make that no problem. Um, I noticed that it was like super easy to make. These base pieces are also very easy to make as well. Um, but believe me, the parts kind of get more and more expensive the further you go. And of course, these circuits are not that cheap. I know that. But this is also, like, all the stuff you need. So, we have those made. And here's our parts. So, we can take our fist and we can look at that. And look at all these different pieces. Like, some of these stuff I don't actually see. Like, we have a diamond drill upgrade that's definitely not something that we have in here. Is it? It's like the diamond drill? Oh, so this is how we do it. Okay, so we need solenoids and we need diamonds to give ourselves a diamond drill add-on. Oh, that's kind of cool. In our basic battery, so we can install like a basic LV capacitor, or we can go up and install stuff. Oh, that's kind of cool. Now that I see how this like actually functions, we can put all these multi-tools in here. Axe, pickaxe, shovel. I wonder if it allows us, I guess, because there is a hotkey for this. If you hold this, it says... Um, Press and hold the number of the hot bar slot for the power fist is in. Okay, so like I guess if it's in hot bar one, you can like change. If you hit one on your keyboard, you can change the uh, slot. Look at that! You can put a scoop from forestry on there. What? So the sil this solenoid, not solenoid. It's a solenoid. Um, that's interesting. What is this? Blink drive. Get from point A to point C via point B. Whenever, <laughs> where point B is a fold in space and time. That would be kind of cool. And then we have uh, mining enhancement. So you can mine underwater. Oh, wow. That gives you a lot of cool stuff. And, of course, this requires some thrusters. Basic battery. We can put shield on here. So I, I noticed the diamond plating didn't seem too expensive. To put diamond plating on this stuff. So yeah, that's going to be kind of interesting to get into. So let's take a look at some of these components that are actually needed. This is going to be one that is probably going to be expensive. To install these parts, they require tungsten. And tungsten isn't cheap. Like, tungsten's not cheap. The wiring's cheap. Steel ingots are cheap. Um, and it also looks like, is it steel interchangeable? No. We just still get all the different color looking steel. We still need to make sure we're producing some steel in here. Let's grab some iron. Throw that back in there. And we'll throw some cold coke back in here. 
because we still need to get some more steel producing. Um, but in here, man, that's kind of cool. I've actually never messed with modular power suits, but I can see how, how awesome they can be. So, like, adding diamond plating protection. Like, I don't want to add an energy sh shield because this stuff is really expensive. This force field emitter is really, really expensive. So, if you want to replace our, our diamond armor here with this stuff, we could use diamond plating. And I noticed that the diamond plating is just an advanced circuit with iridium plates. And we have a bunch of iridium because we've ended up, we've gained a bunch of iridium from um, this. I'm pretty sure this is what pulls up the iridium. Yeah, iridium ore. Look how much iridium ore we have. We have so much. Um, I'm just going to throw this in here and turn it into plates. And we're going to utilize that for this because we only need four. So we need four advanced circuits for that. And then we can technically replace our diamond armor with this. Awesome. Now, when it comes to powering this, does this use EU power? Energy. Uh, oh, to store energy in it, we need the capacitors first. So we have uh, low, vo low voltage, which is going to be the LV... HV and EV, so I'm assuming the power is, of course, you know, being being in this this mod pack. I'm assuming it's going to be EU. Um, but yeah, we have to first install these things. That doesn't seem too bad. And I, I'm guessing we can pull out those uh, modules as we go. I hope. Hopefully, we can remove modules. So if we get low voltage in all of this, that's pretty cheap, right? We get eight of these coils, these wiring. And we need to make some batteries. Of course, making batteries is not too bad. Make a few of those. And we'll make a few batteries. And the batteries don't have to be charged. So there we go. And we can make a few of these. One, two... We need one for each, right? Because we're installing it in each one of these machines. I have more refined iron in here, don't worry. Also, I need that advanced alloy... It needs to go in here whenever that's done. There we go. Pop that back in here. And we need one more. We're missing one more. What did I, what did I do wrong? Ah, I need the batteries. Perfect. So that'll give us a battery in each one of our pieces. Awesome. So we can do this. Install. Awesome. So it shows us our point slot that we've utilized. Same here. And now all of this apparently holds power. One million. One million what? RF? No, no, no. It uses EU. It definitely uses EU. Okay. So yeah, that's really cool. That is really cool. You can throw that in there. Wow, that that consumed that really fast. Um <laughs> Oh. <laughs> You can definitely tell, too, because, oh boy, is our just is our RF power just not handling? I think our RF power is doing fine. It's just the fact that apparently tungsten uses a lot more EU now, and we're just not producing enough. Okay, but that's still that's interesting. We have four tungsten, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and take this, and we're gonna take a look at this thing charging over here, because um, we do need some coal. Let's get this guy filled back up. Oh, it's got coal. It just totally cannot handle this running and that running at the same time. Yeah, and trying to charge this. Oh, boy. Let's just put a little bit of charge in everything. <laughs> and I want to see this. Oh, man, that looks super cool. Like, just with the pieces we have... Oh, wow. We are... Oh, man. Did we just... Did we just become Mass Effect? Are we a Mass Effect character? I really want to know. Does any of you guys know what this armor is based off of? Because, man, it really does look a lot like Mass Effect. I am... I am digging that. I am... I am really digging that. Look at... Look how sexy that is. That is... That is some nice texturing right there. And, oh, yeah. Whenever we get, like, some stuff on this... Oh, it's going to be, like, really, really cool. I love how our left hand is just, like, really derpy and just hang in there. Like, it's, like, doesn't even look like we have a hand because our our other glove has stuff in it. I guess we could make two hands. And a left and a right. Will the finger, if we put it in left-hand slot, will the texture for the thumb be on the other side? 
and like be the right direction? I don't know. I guess it's worth trying. But like our hand like kind of hovers there as well. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so cool. I'm enjoying this so far. Man, um, like putting a little bit of power in here. I know it's not going to really matter. Having a little bit of EU power, even in this. Having the energy, I guess, is just going to help uh, supply the modules and stuff when we install more things. Okay, so it does say E. I'm assuming that's it's letting me know that it's being charged with EU power, I'm guessing, or it means energy. I don't know. But it looks like we can install night vision, which requires a hologram emitter and a circuit controller. We can get a clock, a compass, flight control. An increased control circuit to help you fly better. Press Z to go down. Okay. Solar generator. Ooh, so like the solar generator lets the sun power you. So two control circuits and a solar panel. How expensive is the solar panel? I didn't, I didn't even look at that. So iridium. Reinforced glass. That's... That might actually be a good deal. Uh, electrum. Wiring. Like, and these data, okay, so two data control circuits. So that's going to be, if we take a look at this, this is this is kind of an expensive thing. These data control circuits are kind of expensive. But let's just take a look at this real quick. So we have an Iridium ingots. We're going to need uh, emerald plates, lots of them. Uh, that's the big part, and then these circuits. Okay, so data circuits require a lot of emerald. Luckily, we have a lot of emerald. <laughs> we have tons of emerald. I'm not, I'm not hurting for emerald whatsoever. Um, so let's go ahead and feed that some emerald that is still pushing through some iridium. I feel like we're having power Loss over this connection or this cable for some reason. I Don't know that may be a thing um, But anyways <laughs> moving on moving on um, Making that making this diamond plating. That's what we're working towards. Let's go ahead and start making that So how much of this are we gonna need? We need four advanced circuits. Four advanced circuits and four diamond plating. For each of our components. This will be our armor. Alright, so two points. Energy storage. Okay, slot points, two. Armor, five points. Okay. This is kind of cool. Um, so maximum heat. So we could technically overheat, right? Does this have like a heating thing? I remember that being a thing, like with a jetpack, like if you didn't have this configured properly, you would like burn up inside your suit. And that would be a thing. I do notice there's like a little thing on the side. Oh man, I love learning new mods. This is so fun. So, I think this was a wise investment, but I ended up making the stuff to be able to make the solar generator for the top of my head. Nice. So, when I'm in the sun, I should see that power on the side start to go up. Right? Slowly but surely, yeah, it goes up. It goes up really slow, but it does go up. That's really, really cool. And I don't know if it charges my whole suit or it just charges my helmet. I don't know. But it looks like my overall power is going up, which is really, really cool. I noticed there's like a little lightning bolt too that you can barely see, but there is a lightning bolt. And I think that is really, really, really awesome. So I wanted to go back in this glove and I, I wanted to see. So we have an Omni wrench that we could technically put on this thing. It requires another um, panel and these servo motors are not cheap as well. Um, in place assembler, a large crafting grid on the go. This would also be really nice. Also requires a controller, uh, control circuit, which is not very cheap as well. Um, and there's also a field. I do like the diamond drill. I don't know. Um, the rail gun or the plasma cannon both look really, really fun. Blade launcher looks really cool as well. Lightning summoner. The blink movement thing. Oh man, if we can make these force field emitter in the iron thrusters or the ion thrusters, that'd be really cool. But Here's the thing, ion thrusters have a very complicated recipe. And then this iridium neutron reflector, I don't even know how to get it right now because the recipe doesn't actually show up. So I don't know if these are something that are found in a chest or whatever, but I can't see the recipe to make them. 
And then also this requires 60K helium coolant cells um, to make. And we don't have that. Plus tungsten for making these. Um, the helium coolant cells are not that hard to make. Um, you can get the helium cells by using an additional centrifuge, which we don't have yet. So there'll be another machine we'd also have to make. And uh, yeah, I just don't want to make it just yet. We'll worry about that later on. Um, artificial muscles is something that'd be really nice. Uh, that is another uh, like add-on piece. And I noticed the magnet was another thing. Um, for right now, the power that we're using, like we're not using any of these extra components for the use of the power, but the magnet would actually be really nice um, to pick up items. But like I said, right now, it's not that big a deal. Also, we have this visual thing, so we can actually change, I guess, the, like, color of our gear. So, like, if we don't like blue, let's go to our visuals. We can change the color of our gear. <laughs> How cool is that? Like, we can change the visor. Look at this. If you want no visor, you can do visor. Like, if you just want, like, if you don't want your armor to show, you can totally do that. Like, it's, it's super cool. Like, if you want to reset your gear, like, you can totally do that. But, like, this is super cool. Like, if you want to change these colors, so that blue right here, well, this is, this is different. Reset that. That's something totally different. But, you have these different, like, colors you can choose. You want the whole piece. Like, I don't know what that, I don't know what that is, but there's something weird going on there. That's like a different helmet. Right? That's what it looks like. Totally different helmet. But yeah, you can mess around with these settings if you like. Okay, it looks like that's that's something weird. That definitely removes it. So that has like t tubing here. This gives you a different kind of tubing. And so on. But yeah, like, there's some really cool stuff you can choose. So yeah, I highly recommend checking this out. <laughs> oh man. Because there's some really cool things you can do. And uh, just mess around with. What does that say? Citizen Joe armor skin? I don't know. I'm going to have fun with this. That's for sure. Um, and yeah. Some of these some of these things may be glitched out. We'll have to see. Um, maybe I'm just not doing it right. So if you take a look. Oh, we click on the helmet. First. The helmet lets us control the helmet aspects. Right? So this has stuff that is enabled or disabled. Still can, can try, kind of figure out exactly what things do what. But yeah, as you can see, you know, you just kind of mess around in here. The helmet, visor, tubes, um, right tube entry, left tube entry. And like these, I guess, allow you to change the color. Or no, they allow you to select. So if it's blue, it's selected, and you can turn it off. Or if you want to do this, oh boy, that is really weird looking. You can have something like this. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but that's super cool that you can ha even have it like off. And look, you can see your head. <laughs> oh, and you still have your gear on. Man, I'm I'm loving this armor, guys. I'm, I hope you don't mind that like a whole episode devoted to this armor, but it is really worth it. Hey guys, I know this may seem strange and a little bit out of place, but boy, have I fully customized this armor to my liking. Man, oh boy, we can make this match. Oh man, this looks so good. So, um, if we take a look at the back here, you can see there are some really, really detailed armor pieces. Now, I do notice though, that where this armor is set up, it's just, you can customize all the colors, but it still leaves it kind of plain looking. This armor set right here, this armor choice, um, is kind of deep. I mean, it's got detail, but the color shading options were kind of limited. And I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Let's take a look though. But this armor though is pretty sick, man. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty sick. Let's take a look, though, at how I colored this. If we go to visuals, I'll take you through the steps that I went through. You have armor sets here, armor 2, and you, then you have the MPS uh, armor skin. 
The MPS actually is the regular skin, whereas the Armor 2, I don't know if it's fully done yet. The modeling and texturing for it isn't done yet, I don't know, because it is pretty plain for most for the most part. Um, but you can see the head is not very customizable, but all the other pieces are uh, very customizable, up to the colors. So what you can do is you can scroll down here, you can actually add more colors to this and have multiple color options. And uh, all you have to do is click the Add button, or if you want to remove them, you can remove them. And then over here is where you actually select the colors. Pretty cool, right? And then over here, I don't know exactly know what these mean, um, per se. I know this is to turn it off. This is, it seems on. I don't know if this is on without armor or what it is. But this right here is what I have it set to, because it's what the default set to when you go. But, I mean, everything is, is nice, man. The only thing you can't change is the power glove. I wish you could. I wish you could change that. But, I mean, this armor, though, like, this is super cartoony looking, but it's super cool at the same time. Man, oh man. And the fact that we can stand out here and recharge our armor is also a really, really nice perk. Man. A lot to cover in today's episode, guys. Even though it's such a small, small thing, so much to cover. So much to cover. We've done so much. So, there is one other thing I want to do before we end today's episode. And uh, that is to kind of upgrade our drill. Now, I do know our hand will charge. Things will happen. But this drill, we really need to upgrade the drill. So, let's take a look at the drill. Uh, we should be able to, at this point, get a diamond drill. Or not the diamond drill, an advanced drill. So, let's work on the diamond drill. Uh, we can put this back in here. Let's get an advanced circuit real quick. We can go ahead and get our, our diamond drill. We do have two more pieces of, of titanium. So there's our diamond drill, right? Then the advanced drill, oh boy. A little bit harder and requires iridium nuggets. Now, iridium nuggets can normally only be found in loot chests. So keep that in mind, that those are something that you can only be found in loot chests. And then we're gonna need this, which requires two tungsten, an iridium uh, reinforced plate. Now. This is going to require an implosion compressor, right? An implosion machine. So we're going to need a compressor. Very interesting. Like implosion. Take a look here. Implosion compressor. Um, you'll see it requires a few of these casings, actually. Because we're going to need to make two of the advanced machine casings. And we're going to need two advanced circuits. We're getting our materials worth to in today's episode. And advanced alloy for this. Uh, looks like we don't have enough advanced alloy, but we should very soon. There we go. Perfect. And what else was we missing? The compressor itself, which we need to make. There we go. And yeah, so implosion compressor. Perfect. Um, this bad boy, I do believe, requires a multi-block. So let's take a look at the multi-block required. I'm going to put it back here just for temporary to see. Toggle multi-block hologram. I'm toggling it. I'm not seeing the multi-block hologram. Is maybe that because there's no power connected to it? That could be. Could be because there's no power. Let's get a gold cable. The times two insulated because that's exactly what we need. And we should be able to run this cable over here. I hope. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess I could run it here. Let's see. Make sure this machine is a medium tier. I was making sure it was the exact same tier because I don't want to have issues, you know. Let's place it right here for right now. Just to, to verify that it does have a multi-block. And it doesn't connect. Okay, so that's weird, because this is a medium tier. This is a medium tier. It's not connecting to my my cable. Oh, I see the multi-block. Wait. So this needs to be placed in the air? Oh. No way. Guys, this thing is going to get kind of expensive. But I think we can do it. These, uh... These are the um, the ones we just set up for this machine. So technically, we could probably take these off of here for right now and utilize them over there. 
for this machine. And I, I don't know how tall this thing actually needs to go. Let's go ahead and take this off. We'll find out very soon how tall that actually needs to go. Oh wow, those uh, those will disappear, I do believe, whenever you do back away from the machine. Um, I wonder, can it also, can we utilize this as the same thing? I don't know. I don't have any extra blocks, so we're gonna need to grab some extra blocks and just take a look at this thing. Uh, it's kind of interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Um, all right, let's go ahead and build up here. We know it's at least three. So it is only three. Is the middle hollow? That's another thing I want to know. Is the center a hollow space? I think it is. Okay. So it does seem like the center is hollow. Okay. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy built. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, this needs to go in its own little special place, and we're going to have to figure out how to get this cable to it, because for some reason, it's not taking this cable. I'm almost tempted to tear this down for right now. Hmm. Until we build this thing up. Uh, we will need two buckets. Okay, I'm going to do that. So, just like this, we fill out the multi-block. I think the, the, the part is actually hollow there. Um, so, we place this on top, and that should complete it perfectly and then we can go ahead and add the power now i did go ahead and make these upgraded cables you don't have to um but i did just for the sake of you know getting it done so let's go in here and make this really expensive stuff i know this is uh this is gonna be some crazy stuff but we need some diamond dust that is going to be the big thing um diamond let's grab you we should be able to easily make some diamond dust that's not an issue Look at that. Rolling out some diamond dust. All right. And yeah, we're going to need to make two of these. I should have enough. All right. And the recipe for this is going to require 16 TNT. Oh boy. So we're going to definitely need to make some TNT. I hope I don't have enough sand and gunpowder. Oh, I have uh, not enough sand. I have enough gunpowder. Nowhere near enough sand. Um, okay. So I guess I'm gonna go sand harvesting. Now the good thing is I have a really nice drill now <laughs> that pretty much breaks blocks instantly. Um, but like I said, this is just the diamond version. This is definitely not the upgraded version at all. So yeah, we're gonna tear all of this stuff apart. Yeah, you can definitely tell that like this drill is way, way faster. I am absolutely loving this drill. So let's go ahead and clear out. So 16 will be just to get one, right? That's just to get one. Oh boy. We're going to need a lot of gunpowder. And I, th I mean, I think we should have enough. We don't have a, a creeper farm. But let's see. Can we even, can we make gunpowder as well? Is that something? Ah, we can make gunpowder. So that's actually not too bad. I think we can get saltpeter. Um, the rock crushing we don't have, but... Is there other methods of getting it? Niter. Oh, okay. So, crushing down sand gives us, and the pulverizer gives us a 40% chance of getting this stuff. So, technically, yes, we can make gunpowder. It's just another step in our process, but that's okay. It's okay. We can handle it. All right. So, let's hope we have enough. We need at least enough to make 32. If not, I'm going to be making a new machine. That is going to easily produce sand for us. But it's like I said, just another step we have to do. So, all right, let's go ahead and get this done and I'll be back. So guys, I went through all the grind so you guys don't have to. And uh, we should be just about ready um, to get this thing fired up and ready to go. So I went ahead and made the material stonework factory. This guy is pumping things out. This guy has been going through the stone. Um, I've used up most of the niter and uh, things are looking pretty good. We're able to actually recycle all that gravel. So, or all that sand, not gravel. But anyways, we have two here. These should be split up into 16. We put the TNT down here. We put the one here and it takes a second and bam, no noise. Actually, I was surprised. I was hoping for some noise. 
Um, but there we go. And 16 in there. And perfect. We get two iridium plates. Now, this is going to be used for our advanced drill. Advanced drill, guys. Oh, man. Um, so, right here, we have an iridium plate here and an iridium one here. Four of these circuits, and we're going to need these Lapron crystals. Two of these, and I do believe they have to be filled with energy. Um, they do look like they need to be filled. Anyways, maybe not. Yeah, it doesn't... Nope, nope, they don't have to. They don't have to be. Alright, so... Let's get uh, one, two, three, four. Four more advanced ones there. That's to make both of these. And that'll give us the Lapron Crystals. Perfect. Four more here. And having these automated would have been nice, but it might have also been a hassle. And then we get Energy Flow Circuits. Four of them, actually. Awesome. But we only need a couple. And I think I have two Overclocker Upgrades. I have one Overclocker Upgrade. So let's go ahead and make another Overclocker Upgrade. What we're going to need is some coolant cells. These coolant cells are not that hard to make, actually. They require a bucket. Yeah. Bucket. Three buckets. Let's go ahead and get three buckets of water. That actually works out perfect. And that will not consume anything, I don't think. Alright. Let's take a look at the overclocker to make these. Yeah, there's a bucket. And yeah, with doing it with buckets, it doesn't actually lose the bucket, so you're good. So making the overclocker upgrades are so simple. So simple. Oh, I forgot. We we probably even had... We probably had some. Um, so that pulls up. We just don't have... The insulated copper cables, because we used them all earlier. And there we go. There's another overclocker upgrade, and what we can do is put that in there, and that gives us the one from Tech Reborn. And guys, I think that's just about it. Now, these iridium nuggets, I do have them. Right? I do have them. They are located... In the mining dimension, I do believe. Let's go ahead and head there. Wait, I think. Yeah. Wait, no, we picked them up. We picked them up in a chest. Ah, iridium shards. Right? Iridium nuggets are... Oh, no, we need iridium nuggets, not shards. Ah, oh, okay. Iridium nuggets you get like this. I thought it needed iridium shards. Anyways, guys... We just got the advanced drill. Oh. My. The best drill in the game. Oh, by far. Let's go ahead and get this a little bit of charge. And you're going to see why I want this bad boy. And I think it's going to be better than this, this glove. We may use this glove for something else. But for right now, this thing is where it's at. It holds a lot of power. Lasts a long time. And mining is not something we do a lot of. But it is something that is going to be very fun to do now. Look at this. Oh yes. It mines a three by three. It takes this long to get a three by three mining tool, but man, is it worth it. Man, is it worth it. I notice it says our power is zero RF. Is that talking about our drill or is it talking about this? Where did all of our power go? If all of our power from our suit is a battery. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Okay, so the, the, the power in our suit actually went into our drill to charge our drill. That's actually pretty sweet. So each time we used it, it consumed power out of our suit and not actually power out from elsewhere. And it says RF. Does that mean I can charge it? I don't have a charger made, but I mean, I assume that we can charge this with RF. It doesn't have a specific type, but either way, <laughs> this thing is pretty sick. Uh, being able to mine like that, oh yeah, we're going to take full advantage of that. And uh, we can use the mining dimension. We can go wherever we want, really. Mining for stone, I, I don't know if we really need to do that. It would have been very helpful early on, but you know, you get what you get. And, uh, of course, you can now collect tons and tons of materials. Nice. Now, this thing doesn't really have much of a use elsewhere. 
the mining drill, we can enchant it and do things like that. Or we can, I was going to say we can throw it in the arc furnace, but we can't do that. Um, but yeah, that's really, really cool. So, we have we didn't do too much with our power suit. We did make it diamond armor, uh, armor level, so we should be healthy there. Um, but yeah, eventually we're going to get some more upgrades, guys. Trust me. Once we get some higher tier stuff going and we get a area for our machines, because right now we're kind of living on the edge. We are. We really are living on the edge. We need to really have a better system of power for our industrial craft type machines. And that will involve a factory. And guys, a factory sounds like a pretty neat build. So this area back here may become our factory. I don't know. That sounds like a good idea for a future episode. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also give this video, guys, a huge thumbs up. Guys, I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.